Yeah. What are we doing, Terra? Fields? Pastures? Fields crafts? Let's try to put one in harmony for fun. <laughs> And um, uh, see the seems had visions of a horse with a white blaze. Elmo wanted us to raid before we were attacked ourselves. Okay, so we put two in war then. That look good. We don't have a complete sword. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess. Okay, the Walla Carings, known for their black fleeced sheep, suffered heavy losses when they went to destroy a nest of scorpion folk. They achieved their goal. But at the cost of eight lives, they sh used to be the strongest clan, so we should be happy to see them weakened. Oh no, they lost eight people. Oh, the whole. Okay, families. What have we got? Acots are in. Dasanos are in. Oh, Dasanos a big family. We don't have an Urgent. Mm, there, are, we sure? are we sure? Yeah, it's on the Choker. What about turrets? Uh, yeah, we don't have a turret either. Hmm. So, we, so which clan has double seats? Serent has one. Parent has one. Go back. Uh, Northern has one seat. Cassano has one. Acot has two. Okay, yeah. so it's Acot family has two seats. Yeah. I think it's because we didn't want the 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 Turrents in because he's a he's a ram dude. He's a raven dude rather. So Yeah. So turn but we do have Turrent at Tarani edge twenty. We do, but I mean it's only fair. I mean her her, her qualities are good? really you crap. Gotta start, you gotta start somewhere, right? Uh, I don't know man. I don't know. I mean I think I think we may be also missing an Urkent, right? Yeah, and it's only one. Yeah, so... Churka. Churka. Good, fair, good, good... Guy. Very she, good at magic. She, and she's, she's a shaman. And she's a shaman. Yeah, Let's she, do it. she's in. She is definitely in. Our food situation is desperate. Uh, this is always... Ah. Uh, oh, it's you guys again. They receive a vision. While in ecstatic communion with their helping spirits, they say that the coming year will be one of great darkness. Storm clouds will darken the skies, bringing floods, poor grazing, and reduced harvests. They say their giant deer spirits can stampede away the clouds, given a large enough sacrifice. Condemn this false doom saying. I think it's I think it's getting out of hand now. It is starting to, yeah. Yeah, the mood went up. Oh, and it's still ugly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? I think I think we're okay. So I mean, we can do convert pastures to fields. I think. Yeah, we might as well start it as soon as it shows up. Yeah. Uh, hope for the best. The High Stallion clan has been mocking us because we have too few spirits. Ah, Delegation of the Shining Blossoms. What do we want? Cows? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I think we want cows. 300, yes, yeah, I have that or food. I'm going to say cows. Because we got a lot of warnings regarding food by now. The mood went up. <laughs> Oh, we're back to gloomy! Yay! They're on their feet! <laughs> yeah, that, that, that kind of says, says something you goes up and it's gloomy. Yeah. Okay. How far, far down the ladder we are. Shall we go herding? Uh, yeah. Good. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Again, I mean, that's what the fifth time we get we get that. Yeah, I think I think what we'll do is we'll do trading for food next because we we do have the goods for it. Word okay. reaches you that the Chara Nose are trying to make you a laughing stock of the valley. They composed a song mocking you as adherents of higher law, the false, the man who said he was a god. 
could raid. This is our chance. This is our chance for raiding. Right? True. I kind of like number two as well. <laughs> Sneak onto their lands and burn some of their chariots. <laughs> we could do. <laughs> that that actually does sound kind of cool, but it, but it also kind of shows that we're backstabbing bastards. Yeah, that's true. That's more of a raven thing to do, right? Yeah. And uh, we don't have magic, so we can't put a ritual on them. And convince another clan to raid them on our behalf. It's probably going to cost us goods. Yeah, let's yeah let's try a battle raid. Yeah. Because if we leave them alone, it's probably going to get get worse every time and get more marks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we we're, we're not chickens. We we can hold our own. <laughs> can we them? I I think so. Conductor battle raid. Here we go. How many swords do we want to take? Uh. I'd say at least 10. We'll take 12. And we'll take all the bows we can. I, I would say we'll leave some at home. So maybe bring 80, 85, somewhere there about. We were spotted. Yeah, of course we were. And they've got... Facing 15 chariots and 97 footmen. Plunder! Okay. Uh, they were daring in battle. They might feel emboldened to use a risky attack. Okay. We're out for plunder. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, do we just charge in? We could uh, I don't know. Could skirmish. I mean, it might might knock them down a bit of a peg, maybe. They weren't trying to use risk your tactics, hmm. so I'm guessing that means that they're gonna try and charge us. Hmm. So either we maneuver or skirmish. Yeah, let's try skirmish. I mean, we're pretty even on all accounts. Hmm. We exchanged missile fire. They got the worst of the deal. We are now out of arrows. Ah, right. So look, but look uh, at their numbers. Out of arrows. Yeah, look at their numbers. They fell quite a bit. So let's charge in. Yeah. We charged. Uh, he ordered a reserve. Take advantage. Or fight, fight um, cleverly. Let's see. So, if he is. And it wouldn't make sense for him to use a risk of tactics and then order a reserve. Hmm. Let's, fight, um, let's fight cleverly, shall we? Yeah, I think so. We need Ooh, to... chariots with blades on their axles took a cruel toll on our forces. They gained the upper hand. Um, take risks to win. Fight cautiously. Hmm. I say we take risks to win. Ah, damn, damn it. it. Soon after our defeat at the hands of the uh, Charissa, we started hearing that damnable song everywhere. <laughs> oh no! They've lost the fear! <sighs> our cattle uh, tenders report that during our recent raid against the Charissa, the Eyes of Gold can clan came in and, and stole some. <sighs> Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. We've exhausted our food stocks. The mood is now back to ugly. Um God damn it. Okay. I fucking hate I'm starting to really hate this game now. <laughs> right. Well I'm gonna uh Oh the stock yeah, okay, so we definitely need some a caravan. Let's go to our friends we'll buy food sell goods, a lot of them, and we'll go green to rocks, the Green Rocks with the customary 5 and 10. Yeah, they're probably not going to overcharge us at Whoa. all. Heaven is... Less than a season's worth of food? Oh god, where's... Oh man, that sucks. 
all of our goods that we slaved up for two years for less than a season's worth of food. That's a piss take. Not not what we wanted halfway through the year. You're supposed to be renowned at bargaining. What's wrong with you? Oh, I am yeah. getting angry at <laughs> this game. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay. Well, there's not much we can do about it. We just no. you're just going to have to wade through. Okay. Baron gathers the clan circle to again make an impassioned plea. My love for Redalda burns brighter than ever. You may call uh, me troublesome for asking, but this feeling in my heart is so pure that I cannot believe the gods uh, forbid it. I beg you, let us spin the divine realm and seek proof one way or the other. If I am wrong, I promise I will leave never again on the council over this. Um. Let's, uh, let's ask Elmal, I guess. Yeah, let's let's ask Elmar, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. How many goods? <laughs> None. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try five and five, maybe. Yeah, uh, five and ten. How about that? Sure. Fuck it. Five and fifteen. Sure. Yeah. The priests placed uh, gold tablets bearing the mark of Elmar's mastery among the sacred seeds and threw them onto the fire. Spinning to the sky world, they found Elmar burnishing arrows with piercing flame. When we asked our question, he laughed. It is you mortals who decided that the two people should not marry. I have greater concerns, like bringing their gods to heal. The curse is your doing, not mine. Yeah, that was helpful. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Elmar, you cunt. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, two seasons worth of food, 23 goods. Can we get to 50 by the end of the year? With some luck, maybe. With a lot of luck, I would say. Okay, Baron comes before the council again. To ask that they petition the Weller Carings uh, for Redalda's hand in marriage. Now that we know that no real divine curse afflicts the offspring of the Rider and Rams, no godly impediment stands in our way. That is true. Mm. I'm thinking one or four. Right. I mean, I, who who are we to stand in the way of his true love? I I will say one. I I, I will I want to say one. Yeah, he he can do it. He's his own man, and uh, you know, but he he he's gonna go to the other clans and see what they think. If Baron ascertains that it will not ruin your standing among other rider clans, he, he, he's doing it on he, his own he, back. He, well, your standing, does that mean him personally or us as a clan? I would say that would be a clan thing, no? Yeah, I mean the wording. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's, it, I think We're it not would be your standing as a clan among the other writer clans. Yeah, I, I, I would say that I would say that's the case because if you look at number two, yes, if another emissary ascertains that it will not ruin your standing among, uh, I, I would, I would say that you know the your in this case means the clan. And we already have the mocking song from the show, is it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, based on that, yeah, okay, let's go number one. How many warriors do you send as an escort? Uh, Five and ten. He spoke 
Oh, the mood went up. And goods. Oh, we got goods from it. He became Elmarl and spoke as Elmarl. Wow. The other rider councils clung to the necks of their horses, awestruck by his presence. If Elmarl said the curse of ram blood never existed, it was so. The ram killers seemed subdued, but the other clans laid gifts at Baron's feet. You will still need to convince Redalda's clan to approve the marriage, ideally from a position of strength and wealth. How many seasons do you devote to the preparations before approaching the Wallacarians to propose marriage? <sighs> so we're we're at shall we say five? Middle of the road? Yeah. yeah. Because I think winter's coming up and we don't want to travel in winter. So yeah, five. Five seasons. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Baron, Baron alternated between elation that we agreed and concern that Baron the Swift or some other young ram might ask her hand before we were ready. His wisest maternal aunt reminded him that marriage affected more than just the bride and the groom. It was also a bond between both their families and clans. Okay. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I think we're going down a, a good path. We've got two seasons worth of food. The clan mood is back to gloomy. So we're, we're moving in the right direction. We're moving in the right... We're moving up! <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could be as optimistic as you. <laughs> uh, a teenage girl from the Wallacarian clan called out uh, to our herders from uh, just outside uh, our clan boundaries. Our herders are not used to talking to foreigners, so it wasn't completely clear what she wanted to say, but she had learned the word cows in Sunspeak. And it seemed that she was delivering a message from the daughter of the Vincot, the god of rams. Right. Although the lion spirit took oath. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Uh, goods back up to 65. I reckon we can spend on another watchtower. <laughs> a scruffy band of outlaws expelled from both rider and ram clans came to your borders seeking parley. The twin songs have offered us food and goods where three cows to ambush your trading parties. But they told us we stank. Which we do, but it is not offered. What did we do for this one last time? Uh, we tried to bring them into the clan and they said no. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Uh, so I would say confront the twin songs about this and demand an apology. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, I want. I don't want to send Baron out. I'm going to send Sarissa. Yeah. Send the standard ten and five. The twin songs laughed. Mood went down. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Mood still gloomy. It's fine. Yeah, we'll probably fine. Have, we'll probably have one minus mood left until we're down back at rock bottom. Maybe. Oh, the Chovesh die. <clears throat> oh, drive them off. Jesus. Yeah, everyone is always more than we have, no matter mm. what we do. Um, um, skirmish? That seemed to work. Bring them down a bit. Yeah, sure. Hey, look at that! Nice. Made by the belts. Uh, uh, Skirmish some more. <gasps> Seems to be working, man. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work twice in a row. But uh, what have we got to lose? <laughs> Oh, our swords and bows and everything else. I'm, I'm going to click it. Ready? Sure. <laughs> hey, it worked! <laughs> they performed so some they're... sort of ritual. Yeah, nice. 
Okay, well, that the numbers seem uh, seem a, a little bit better now. Fourteen to eight, and eighty-seven to sixty-seven. So we're now out of arrows, so we might yeah. as well try and close in. So advance or maneuver. I guess us on horses we're more maneuverable than chariots. Yeah, but right? they're, they're uh, maybe, but they could also have those blades on their yeah, uh, on the axes. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'd say we advance at least. Okay. Uh, they Slightly moved. Uh, hold your ground. Um, we have more swords. Yeah, but the superior position, or slightly superior, means it probably trans around us. Maybe. I'm th I'm thinking either cautiously or cleverly. So, I mean, we need mm. to fight smart if they're in a slightly superior position. Mm. So, shall we go for fight cleverly then? Oh, God. Uh, yeah. Or do you want to be more cautious? Uh, I don't want to be in a fight at all. <laughs> um, nah, I'll say cleverly. Okay. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Wheel nobles strike ritual poses on their rattling death carts. Uh, Dunradin feels a rumbling in his bones. The chariots radiate the dread blessing of the wheel god Samnel, striking fear into the hearts of your warriors. If left unchecked, this magic will take a terrible toll on your side. How does Dunradin respond? How is his fighting skill? His magic is very good. His combat is very good. So they strike fear into our warriors. Mm hmm. So, uh, see, leaping over a chariot, taking a sword swipe, that's not against the leader. Branching only a whooping stick. Uh, mocking the sword. I mean, based on the situation from what I can read, if we can kill one of the nobles in one of the chariots, mm. that kind of shows that the chariots are not that, not all that. Yeah. Number two. I uh, yeah, I'm leaning towards it. He made the leap, and then the mood went up. Nice. After an attempt to regain his foot, the enemy noble wavered and collapsed, undoubtedly dead. Okay. Fight cleverly again. Mm. Yeah. We push towards uh, as they try to conserve their strength. Victory now seemed close. Fight fiercely. Hold your ground, maybe. Fears there. Uh, I I don't think that will work three times in a row. <laughs> um, hold the grounds. We're not fighting defensively. Hmm. But I would say either two or four. Okay. I'm gonna go four. Ah, we got it. Ah, we won one. Thank God. Succeeding at that daring feat taught me a thing or two. I'm sure I can brilliantly employ similar tactics next time we make war. Ah, uh, and that's the end. 
That's the end of the year. Ah, oh, finally. Uh, magic went up to seven. So that's kind of good. Got crafts coming in. Uh, more babies were born. 15 went into adults. We've got 33 fewer people. But 30 more cattle. And 10 more horses. It's not bad. The nice guy is all in point towards the fan. It was clear so they wanted us to explore this at last. Mm -hmm. So they want us to explore. Not bad at all. What do you want? Uh, war or diplomacy? Do you think we should put maybe put one in diplomacy as Baron is uh, gonna... Uh, yeah, I think maybe two in diplomacy, one in war. But if you read in the night sky, mm. Solomon point towards the fan. It was clear that they wanted us to explore distant lands. Yeah. But also, the fact that we've got this wedding coming up soon, right? Yeah, in five seasons. Or four now. Yeah. Three or four. Um, <sighs> so we probably want diplomacy on our side. Uh I mean, I can take out war and put it on exploring, but I don't, I don't want to take out no, two. I no, I think I think we should keep war, considering, again, we're getting butt fight by pretty much everyone. Okay. So I think, uh, yeah, I think we should keep it as it is. Okay. The wealthiest of the Ram clans, the Orthomarlings, just got wealthier. They sent a mission to the east, where they fought outlanders and found silver bones of deities slain by the gods. Wow. We should do more exploring. We might not find god bones, but we'll find something. It looks like this guy's just volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> Dark skies and heavy rains predicted by the antler shamans did not come to pass. The people said that neither they or the spirits can be trusted. Nice. Well, that's it, folks. We're getting closer to the end, I think. Slowly but surely. And it, I didn't rage quit. You didn't rage quit. You did very well. You did very well to sit here for, what, an hour and a half and, uh, you know, go through four years of pain and misery. Uh, yeah. Every, every session in this game is pain and misery. Mm. Mm. It's only, the only question is how much. Exactly. Well said. But yeah, we, we close this round with uh, a gloomy mood, which is far better than what we started with. Well, it's only one step up, but it is better, yes. More of the map explored. <clears throat> if only we could get past this river. And uh, our wealth of one season stockpile of food. 309 horses. We might be able to sell some horses for for more herds, you know, uh, going forward. Yeah, but, but we might also need the horses for, what was it, one horse per dog or something? Yeah, but we've only got 400 and something people in the clan. <laughs> um, almost 500. Almost. I remember when we had like 600, <laughs> like before the, before the earthquakes and the sky started to fall. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, Tara. Well, uh, well, for some reason, I gotta say, this is one of the almost better sessions we've had. I'd say so. I'd say almost. so. But uh, we'll see you on the next one, where I think I think we're close to the end. I, uh, we have to be. Um, so, yeah. Ta-ta. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure we're at least halfway. Oh, yeah, at least. Halfway to the end. We're halfway to the end. That's the way I see it. We're in the final third of the game. You know, yeah. from, from what I read up on. I didn't do too much reading up on it. But yeah, Baron and the marriage is, is an end game goal. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see what comes of that. Ah, we, we, it, may, it may surprise you. I mean, I've spoiled it for myself, but I don't want to spoil it for you. <laughs> or, or the viewers. Or the viewers. What little ones there are. <laughs> or the viewer. Yeah. So, we'll see you on the next one, ladies and gents. Ta-ta. Goodbye, everybody.